Hey folks, this is Lyle with Review Outdoor Gear, and this is the Council Tool two and a quarter pound Boys X, which I'm going to be reviewing for you today. Let's begin. All right. So first of all, let's get the specs out of the way. The weight of this axe is about right around three pounds and four ounces, four and a half ounces, with the sheath. It does not come with the sheath, so it truly is about three pounds and two ounces. Now in terms of lengths and thicknesses, the axe overall, from the bottom of the handle to the top of the axe head is about 27 and a quarter inches. The handle itself is about two feet and half an inch, so 24 and a half inches. The um, bit itself is about six and a half inches long this way. The cutting blade is about two and three quarters of an inch. The thickness of the pole on the back is just right about one inch and two and three quarters of an inch tall. Pretty good size, not a full size axe, kind of like a camping size axe or a boy's axe to what it actually is designed to be. So not a full length axe, not a hatchet, so kind of like a forest axe type of length. So the axe is made by Council Tool, maker mark stamped in there, and it's made in the USA. This company is actually the company that um, you see like all the firemen's axes and stuff made by. So they make um, a lot of pretty good quality axes and uh, have pretty good quality steel. It's not the best, but it is pretty good. I've actually been using this out in the woods for probably several months now. I actually sharpened it and I haven't really had to resharpen it since I've been using it. Um, just kind of me touching it up once in a while. My handle is American Hickory, not varnished with anything, so you can treat it with whatever you want it to be. Really good quality handle, really well seated around the axe head. No gaps anywhere. The grain orientation here is perfect, dense, right up and down. So they know what they're doing with that. Um, it comes out this way and this way so it doesn't come out of your hand at all. Really good grip. Pretty good thickness up here on the shoulder of the handle. Um, not going to break off very easily anytime soon. Um, and overall, just a really nice feeling handle. It's actually pretty good quality. So in general, the materials on this axe are really good quality. Really good handle, really good steel. The only place it lacks is the fit and finish, and that's why it's so inexpensive. So you can see up here kind of the, the seating up here is kind of rough. It's, there's little burrs of metal coming off of the metal wedge. You know, it's not perfectly cut off straight. And also when you get it, it's got a pretty dull edge. You got to put your own profile on there and put your own edge on there. Otherwise, it's just like a blunt force tool. And then the handle, you might need to clean up a little bit and see, you know, treat it with some oil or whatever you want it to be. So that's why it's so inexpensive. Um, it's just you got to put a little bit more work into it to make it perfect. But it's still a really good quality material, and that's what's important. And then, of course, you got the typical red paint here, the fireman style red paint. Personally, I don't like it too much, but it's not that big of a deal. It's actually kind of nice to uh, be able to see your axe out in the woods easily than if it was just metal. Also, the axe does not come with any sheath at all. All it has is a little rubber, a little covering on the blade. So, as is our custom, we made a sheath for this axe as well. You can see it sits on there very nicely. We've opted to uh, not stain this one so that it would fit nicely with the handle and the color of the axe. Otherwise, if we had a brown one, it'd look, there'd be too many colors going on. So you can see there, handmade stitched all around, hand stitched, a nice welt, good thickness, fits under like a glove. You don't have to do any funny turning and prying it on there, it just slides right on. Nice and solid, comes right off with a nice solid clasp there to keep it on. And I think it complements the axe very well. These are always available in our Amazon store, which the link to is in the description below. So check that out if you're interested. All right, let's do some chopping tests with this thing. So I'm out here working, and I'm going to chop this tree down because they're too close. And this is the weaker of the two, so I'm going to leave this one and chop this one down. So you can kind of see how it'll do with chopping down the tree, and then I'll limb it up as well, and maybe buck it up into several pieces so you can kind of see how it performs. Let's get started.
Timber! <laughs> so folks, you can see it's pretty good at chopping. It's not really designed to chop huge trees, but that kind of long, thin blade really helps it cut into the wood nicely. Pretty sharp too. So now that we've got the tree down, let's limb it up and see how that works. You can see it cuts pretty easily through those branches. You know, you can cut through a branch maybe two or three inches with one stroke if you're pretty good. It's that long, nice blade that works pretty well on this. So, just like that. All right, now that we kind of got the branches off, we can buck it up. So you can see guys, it does a pretty good job with chopping down smaller trees and limbing them up. So pretty good little tool to have out in the woods if you're doing some forest work or if you're camping or anything similar. Even backpacking, you know, bushcrafting for a, a cheap option. So. so folks, overall this is a really nice axe. I've been using it for quite a while out in the woods to do limbing and felling of small trees and just small work like that, especially for the price that they sell it at. It's incredibly cheap for the quality you get. Just a little bit of touch up, you can make it to be a really nice axe for either you know your teenager or for yourself if you're out in the woods doing slider work. Um, so definitely check it out. We'll have a link below. You can check it out online. Um, I recommend this axe. It's even cheaper than I think the Husqvarna 26 inch multi-purpose axe and uh, it's pretty good quality so hope you enjoyed the review hope that was informative and as always thank you for watching have a great day and praise god and i'll see you next time bye guys hey folks vlad here with the rear door gear and this is a council tool two and a quarter point Ah, come on. I messed it up.